Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on the video once again. It's a uh, great time right now. We're in the off season of PvP, but the combined arms event is open and running. It's a lot of fun where you have to play a two star, a three star, and a four star in the battle. It's uh, a lot of fun with different teams that you don't usually get to play, and uh, we'll get into some action there real soon. Uh, real quick, the Magnetic Mayhem event is listed featuring 3-star Magneto, and that's the beginning of the Time Stone season. And I'm wondering, you know, the, um, uh, the actual simulator hasn't been posted yet, and when it does, I'm wondering who the 2,000 point level 4-star cover reward will be. I'm guessing it might be the black cover for Dazzler, but we're not sure yet because we have a new 4-star being released next week, and so I wonder if they're going to be able to sneak that character into the simulator or not. So let's uh, jump into the action here in the uh, Deadpool's Daily Quest. we got a couple of nodes to clear there. We'll do our whole bunch of tokens, over 50 plus, including uh, over 40 heroics alone, and we'll run through that quite a bit. And uh, we'll try to wrap this up pretty quickly. There's some other guys streaming on MPQ. I just had to get mine in live here quick while um, uh, while it's uh, early in my evening and before I do PVE later on tonight since the uh, Deadpool versus MPQ ends tonight for me and some of you guys are done already. Let's get into the big enchilada. I already cleared out the or a previous three-star character required node and this is a kind of fun team for me. I happen to use Star-Lord a whole bunch, probably more than anyone else you know, and I'm a huge fan of Quicksilver with his tile swap ability to try to find ways to make Ragnarok useful or good. Let's just get into this match. I think this is going to be a pretty quick match, depending on how um, things go. If it's like the last one I did, it was real fast. So let's um, target Scarlet Witch first, try to make a priority of green and yellow and then of course blue and red for Ragnarok are pretty good I just gave them a for one red I didn't want to do that or purple <laughs> alright I'll take the red Ragnarok's good at um, having a cheap red ability that actually spams some blue onto the board and uh, with Quicksilver on your team, having blue on the board is a good thing because he uh, builds up his passive ability where he locks the uh, team up tiles. Do this extra move here. Now we're rolling pretty good. Now we've got our black ability ready to go for a tile swap. So let's see what swap we should do to get the most out of it. We almost have our green ready to go. So let's do this. We're going to do a tile swap right here with this... Um, now there's an extra move we can swap together. Where's a blue that a green would do well in its place? Right there. So check this out. We get this, this tile swap, automatic match there. We'll get an extra move with blue here. All right. Let's go ahead and play. Let's go ahead and play Star Lord's bit of both. It does. Uh, Column destruction and uh, retains your your charge tiles on the board. Team damage, huge knockout already. We're gonna try to get some yellow matches. There we go. All you have to do is say you're going for it, and then the system will make it happen for you. Not really, but um, Ragnarok and Starlord have a kind of hidden synergy. I'll try to get it ready to go here in a second hidden because it's probably not usually worth it to do it but if you have them in the same match then you can <laughs> Ragnarok's not rated too too highly if you haven't been able to tell what I'm getting at let's go with this red lucky drop on that yellow perfect alright so we might be able to do what I was uh, alluding to here a second ago Alright, so the enemy team's strongest color happens to be blue, and Star-Lord's yellow ability turns the enemy team's strongest color into green charged tiles. 
Well, Ragnarok already will charge green tiles that are already there with his blue ability. So if we have this thing timed out just right, there's a blue right here. All right, so let's play Ragnarok's blue first to try to charge some green tiles that are on the board. And this, there's a blue here that is probably going to do real well. Now let's play um, something good from Star-Lord and hopefully we get charged green tiles right next to the others. Perfect. It worked. Now let's uh, just make a simple green match and we can do that team damage ability again. Do a quick thunderclap. Those guys will all be taken out by that damage. Let's go for... Let's see... Gonna hurt a little bit with that blue, but they set off our passive ability from Quicksilver by matching the uh, a blue match when there's four locked team up tiles. That'll uh, do about 3,000 team damage. We're gonna end it here right after this. I don't like to use Ragnarok's green ability. It's similar to Star Lord, but it's uh, less effective and um, costs more and hurts your team and pretty much does less damage. So we've got um, a bit of both here. We'll hit Solo Bagman with that. And we'll win it with a uh, Ragnarok ability, I guess. We can get his red activated one more time. Might have to just win with match damage here. Yep, that's going to do it. All right. Pretty good team. We didn't lose hardly um, any health, really. And we get the Ragnarok cover for the win. Little bonus there. Let's go into the Behemoth Burrito, and then we'll talk about the Crash of the Titans. We're not going to play the Crash today, but uh, give you a little bit of strategy if you haven't tried it yet. If you have, let me know how it's going for you. So we've got Ghost Rider here. Um... He's got some strategy, too, that I think will be interesting to see if we can get this to um, work on the perfect setup for Ghost Rider. You really want to try to go for red before green so that you can put the tactiles on the board with his red ability. And once there's enough tactiles tacti on the board, that'll decrease the cost of his green um, team damage ability. So it's really pretty good if you get it going in the right order early enough. So there's hardly any red on the board. Let's gather black and green also. I love Ghost Rider's animations. I think they uh, did a good job with that. Let's go ahead and put the uh, character effects back on. Let's see. What do I want to do here? Probably go for... i got to try to get red matches lined up. They'll probably steal the red from me here. Or ruin the alignment. Okay. Ghost Rider's black ability at cover level 5 will do 200% damage that the enemy has dealt to you back at them. So it can be one of the hardest hitting abilities in the game, especially against like uh, boosted characters, bosses, and stuff like that. It's a lot of uh, fun to bring Ghost Rider along, or at least his team up. Or you can do that. There's a red match. Please let me get it. All right, even better. Get an extra move. Hmm. Guess I'll do the extra move. Can't pass that up. And then big red hit for the knockout on Kamala. We're gonna lose a whole bunch of green. That's too bad. It's a surgical strike. It's our strongest color because of Ghost Rider. But we're ready here. Let's go ahead and play. Is red pretty safe? Not really. Let's get one more red match out of here with this extra move first. I know there's a match four, but I want to get all the red off the board a little bit. All right, we're about ready to do this if we ever get a turn here. Good. Man, another 
big match in red. Let's um, go ahead and take that. I mean, overly cautious, but I really want to kind of show you guys what we can do. All right, here's Hellfire. Repeater tile. You got to be careful since it's a, it's always going to be red. You want to make sure and safeguard that quite a bit. Let's play Hellfire again. Direct damage plus with those on the board, they're going to add attack tiles to the board. Let's get a green. Now we've got our green ability ready to fire off, and I want to pull up his ability list to show you. There's the attack tiles from one repeater and two more from the other. And with the attack tiles on the board, they uh, decrease the cost of burning rubber from 12 down to 8 because there's four attack tiles. So if we let them count down one more time, that's going to further reduce the cost of our green ability. So that's why you want to get as much green as possible, and then now you can play it twice in a row if you want it only has a cost of six, and it does pretty good team damage, honestly. Um, for, you know, plenty over 3,000 to do this. So here's what we're going to do. Let's take out um, X-Force Wolverine with a Penance Stare first. I think he's done plenty of damage. He's done 3,000 damage, so this would take him out for over 6,000 health if we needed. I love this animation. Very cool, he's out, and if we would have gotten this ready earlier, it would be a team damage ability from Burning Rubber, but we'll use it just for the KO of Magneto, and we could have played it twice like this. So Ghost Rider probably needs a little more time, but once he gets going, it uh, can be a pretty big deal with all those attack tiles. Alright, good win. I'll take the two command points, and we're up to probably... Wow! Someone made a nice purchase in my alliance for three more command points. I'll take that as well. So we're up at uh, 3,534 command points. I don't think I've ever had that far over 3,000 command points before, and we're uh, only at about a week and a half away for the time where Cable enters the five-star latest Legends pool and uh, Wasp will rotate out. I cannot wait for that. We've got 109 latest legends. We're going to add to that by a couple of character levels that we get in our token pulls. we got 46 heroics. So let's run back here onto the standards and just go until we get a 3 star uh, plus the bonus or to the point where we get bored of the standards and want to just Some uh, good runs in on combined arms. Alright, this is taking a while. Let's do maybe ten of these, ten more of these. Getting some pretty good two stars, actually. And now that I mentioned that with the two stars, I do want to champion another two star that has, uh, that has 50 covers saved. Because they'll, um, the more two stars you have able to use in combined arms, the better. Two star. All right, we'll go to the next two star if we don't get a three star by then. Standard tokens take a little too long during a video sometimes, so we'll cut it off at the next. There's a two star torch. All right, we'll stop there and move on to the elites. We got eight elite tokens that might yield a gold level emblem or two. Czar is on the chat. I saw your name pop up just now. How's it going, my friend? There's a three star Captain Marvel. Thanks for jumping in the chat, Czar, and anybody else who's on, feel free to say hi if you wish. We do need to get uh, three more followers on our uh, Twitch stream, so if you guys know anybody that might want to check out the stream, 
I don't know why in the world they would want to, but if you ask them to come by, that would be great. <laughs> oh, all right, here we go, the special offer. This is uh, basically just like the normal Heroic store, but it's got a little bit better um, purchase prices since it's the PvP off-season. We'll do five of these tokens here. Hopefully we can get one three-star or better. Might be all two stars. A lot of Moonstone. All two stars for now. We'll get more tokens there. Fan favorites. That's the one we'll come back to and do it uh, last year. It's post-event, so I can't show you the odds. But uh, as I mentioned, Doctor Strange is in there and would be great. Also, Jessica Jones and Old Man Logan. Let's go to Deadpool versus MPQ. That's the event that's ending tonight for me. Some of you guys might be done at this point. <laughs> Thanks, Zar. You told everybody who you know that cares about MPQ to file. That's great, man. It, hey, there is a Quicksilver. little viewer luck from Zar kicking in already. And a Rocket and Groot to follow. I'll take that. Do the 100 hero point draw. And just a two star. But in our previous video, uh, you guys helped us, help me spike that legendary token out of that vault. That was amazing. Venom Bomb is the next story event. We've just got the, uh, the early draw to, to pull here. Let's do it. Whoa! Look at that viewer luck already. The first shot on this vault, and we get the four-star Ghost Rider right after playing him in the Behemoth Burrito. Are you serious? Claim it. Look at that vault, guys. One draw is a four-star. Screenshot that for my friends in our alliance. That's so good. Well done, everybody. So the Taco Vault is here. Oh, I forgot to talk about the um, Crash of the Titans. I'll go back to that since it's Wiccan, and uh, he's against a pretty unique opponent. I guess I don't have to leave. I'll just talk about it here. Wiccan against America Chavez is going to be very difficult. You're going to have to really get ahead on AP, and I'd suggest using boosts in that matchup. Um, but don't go for green too early. Try to get just any color that gets you more AP than what America has herself. And then eventually you'll get 6 AP or whatever the requirement is for Wiccan to go into uh, uh, transform into the Demiurge. And when he's in that state, every single match you make, once you've got the 6 AP or 8 AP that it requires to make it, once you're in Demiurge state, all of your match threes will be line breaks, and you'll get uh, basically like getting match fours just for matching three. Um, you're going to get your green. You're going to get your yellow right away. Try not to play green until you have yellow. You can play yellow for his countdowns, and then his green, pick a column that has one of your countdowns in it to earn some health back and then do a big hit on America. So that you're probably going to... Uh, be have to be pretty patient in that crash, but let me know how it's going for you if you've tried it already It might be pretty tough. Some guys are already saying they're having a uh, you know a pretty rough go at it If they don't have a lot of covers in Wiccan, but uh, yeah, we've got our champ So I can't wait to, to get take a chance at that probably in a couple days. We'll hit it So yeah, Zar, you were able to beat that crash with only level 160. Man, you must have a, a couple of covers in his green, um, or at least in his Demiurge uh, blue passive ability. That's great. So we've got 46 heroic tokens, and then we'll uh, do one draw from the uh, fan favorites vault. We'll do that last. Hopefully we can get some kind of luck going there. But with 46 heroics, man, I've been saving up. I've been hitting the... Um, uh, Lightning rounds, and uh, I, I, oh yeah, you know what, before we do that, that's what we wanted to do. I wanted to champ up that last two star. Um, let's see, who, did, who was it that I wanted to do? Was it Cat, or was it, who's my two star that's ready to go? Is it Black Widow? I think it might be Black Widow. Let's do it. We've got the ISO, I'm saving up ISO as you know, but uh, two stars, you can sell them again. Pretty, uh, pretty soon after champing, and if they have the covers anyway, they're ready to sell one by the time they're done. By the time you're done using them. Let's get all those covers levels built in. And 
there we go. Black Widow is at level 144, and I think we'll leave her specced out at that point. That gets us a few more heroic tokens. I think she gets us five from that, or is it five or six? Four, five, or six. Anyway, 51 total. And uh, let's look at the odds quick. Odds are 1 in 16 at getting a 4-star. So we might even have the odds of getting three different 4-stars since we're, we have almost um, three times, uh, a little more than three times the odds. So if you guys are ready, let's hit it. Full Bottle Cuervo's on the chat just in time to add a little more viewer luck to our big run in heroics here. There's gold right away, and it's a gray suit Black Widow. Perfect. Just got a few more of those from uh, the little Black Widow. And look at that. Got the four star already. You guys are bringing it right now. Nice job. This is an early hit, so now we might have a good chance at hitting another four star. Who do you think it's going to be? Um, one of the Hulks, maybe? Who do you think? Three, two, one, go. Oh man, Nightcrawler, he is a, a high level four star for me anyway, and that's going to be a nice reward for him. Cool. All right, 46 more tokens. How long until we can do that again? Definitely need some Storm. She's getting up toward the level where she uh, rewards a legendary. Sentry, nice. Sentry, um, through his champ rewards, will give you Moon Knight, and I need one Moon Knight to hit level 300, so I can't wait to see how far Sentry is. Another gold. Iron Man Model 40, very helpful right now in the um, Combined Arms event. Another 3-star, Doc Ock, with the bonus. That's a Thanos, so I only need one more Thanos before I have to switch my bonus hero. Remind me of that if we get another one. Let's burn these heroics up. Then we got to add in our character levels. Then we'll get in a little bit of PvP action. All right, we're due for gold. Maybe right here with 33 tokens left? Nope, not yet. Definitely due for gold here real soon. There it is. Another Doc Ock. All right, another bonus. Perfect. I think those two were the bonus combo last time. All right, so we got to change my bonus hero real quick. Let's go to... real quickly. I need to take Thanos off, and I think I need to put it on maybe Cyclops. I think he's the one that's a little bit lower that needs more levels. Oop, okay, there we go. Sorry for the delay, but you got to manage your bonus heroes quite a bit your favorites. If you want to strategize and make your expectations met, there's another Doctor Strange. That'll be the first saved cover on the duplicate I'm building for the third time. Angel. Another bonus. I think you changed it. Cyclops. Cool. I think we're coming up on a four star here, guys. What do you think? Can we do it? Then we've got that legendary token draw to pull from that vault. 19 more tokens. We should be in line to get another 4 star out of this, I hope. Historically, I'm way above the odds on 4 stars from Heroics. But over the last week or two, couple weeks, I think I'm a little behind. There's a beast. We need more gold right here. Not yet. Getting a lot of moonstone today. There's a gold. Squirrel girl. Great. Another bonus. That's another Cyclops. That's working out real well. Seven more tokens. Can we get another big hit before we're out? If we don't, that's going to be fine because we need to save our luck for that legendary draw we got coming up here. Oh man, that was close. Look at that. Right with the last couple of tokens left, we qualified for another four star just in time. Let's count it down in three, two, who's it going to be? 
One. Four star Punisher Max. Very, very good. We only had one token following that. Can you believe it? That's awesome. We'll do the daily discount draw and we get gold with it. Hey, that worked out. Scarlet Witch. Cool. All right. We are um, over here at the Fan Favorites Vault. Uh, I can't show you the odds here because it's post-event. It ended a while back. But uh, we're definitely guaranteed to get a four-star, but we have a chance at getting a five-star. If we get a five-star, I really want to root for Doctor Strange. He's the one I need covers on the most. But a level in Jessica Jones or Old Man Logan would be great. Don't have Old Man Champ yet, but he's going to be a near-future um, plan anyway. And uh, if we get a four-star, try to see if you can guess who it's going to be. If you guys are ready, let's concentrate to look. And go. It's a four star. It is another Nightcrawler. Wow. I will gladly take that. And let's go in and add up our character uh, champion reward levels. And uh, get into PvP action. Got a bunch of one stars. Let's sell them out. 129. That's, wow, that's 12,900 ISO. Let's go to the two stars. I don't have much to do here, but Hawkeye's level should be good. That's the max champ level for him. 144. Perfect. He's pretty much been a lot of fun in combined arms. He's got a lot of, a lot of uh, good things going for him to use with other characters, especially with his countdowns. Thor is a good level. He gets to level uh, or 50 covers saved for him. So we can champ him up soon and Moonstone. Also at max level 144. Perfect. All right, that's enough with the two stars. I'll handle the rest later. Let's go to the threes. We've got a lot of character levels to add in. Scarlet Witch gets up to 232. I need those hero points. I spent a whole bunch of hero points during the anniversary in the anniversary vault and other areas. A couple of Cyclops, five command points. He gets up to 235 at 230. 7, or is it, no, it's 239, right? 239 will be a legendary token, so he needs 4 more levels. Squirrel Girl goes up to 209. Beast. He's got a couple here. Check this out. 259. Nice. Alright, Angel just passed the legendary level a little bit ago. 244. Doctor Strange, let's save it. That's his first save cover. And I have a max champ. I sold a max champ, and now we are at uh, first saved cover on the third build of Doctor Strange. Nice to have that rebuilding since I was pretty nervous when I sold the max champ. <laughs> All right, Thanos, 237, 238. And check it out, guys. 239, the legendary token. That's going to add to the stack and get ready for Cable in just a few more days, about 10 days away or so. A couple Doc off in a row. Get these stacks in a row. Now level 196. He plays really well in combined arms with uh, Medusa or with Carnage. Iron Man model 40. A couple levels here. 198. Sentry, where are you at? Level 200. A lot of levels to get to the next uh, four-star reward for a Moon Knight. Storm's getting up there, 236 for the second time. Gray Suit Black Widow, she's got a bunch here. Let's see how far we can go into the 260s. 15 command points, wow. 1,000 ISO, 250 hero points, and the next two rewards are 2,500 ISO and... Um, four-star Black Widow, I believe, if they changed her champ layout. Rocket and Groot, 246. Quicksilver. There's our Ragnarok, 206. And Magneto, I think these three get to a pretty good level. Let's see where we go. Needed two to get their legendary token at 257, and he goes to 258. Awesome. All 
right, got a bunch of uh, Loki coming up after Iron Fist. Level 250. All right, Loki. Hey, he gets the four-star Venom at level 223. It's right there at the 227 for another Legendary. Wow, that's really moving the uh, Legendary stash up. Cannot wait to pull from the Horde. I'll stream that for sure, guys. It should be a lot of fun. I know some of you guys are also saving up to pull for when Cable enters Latest Legends. Another Legendary from Dakin. All right, 239, just barely got there. And here's Electra. Check it out. 266, Max Champed Electra, finally, after all this time. And another Legendary token. So the other characters here are... Um, maxed out and I have to re-roster uh, them or figure out what to do. Let's go to the four stars. we got a bunch here now. Venom that we just got from Loki. It's level 302. Almost at 21,000 health. A couple of night crawlers in a row. These should be good rewards. Five command points and 100 hero points to get level 327. 19,000 health. Wow. All right. Punisher Max. It's 304. There's our Ghost Rider, that crazy hit we got from the vault. Level 296. And Winter Soldier came from our, my daily resupply. 289. And now that I mentioned it, I'll, I should show you my daily resupply. It's we're a day, uh, day of play level uh, number 1075. Uh, so that's. Uh, 1,075 days. In 20 days, I hit my three-year anniversary of MPQ playing as uh, uh, it would be day number 1095, and my reward should be getting pretty good toward um, toward that point in the next uh, 15 to 20 days, so be on the lookout for that. We got three Dazzlers from recent rewards over the last three days. Let's train up her red to level five for Dance Floor Queen. Her black, goodness, is finally up to level two. Survivor, and her green Sounds of Light and Fury is also level 5. Dazzler is uh, one cover away from being maxed. I can't wait, and uh, hopefully her black cover is what's offered at the end of the Shield Simulator. For me, if not, you know, um, it uh, could be uh, a surprise character that we don't know about yet. Maybe. Cyclops gets the legendary token at level 310. Wow, we're doing good on legendaries today. And Howard the Duck, I got from the last second draw from the Anniversary Vault, goes to 278. That's it for four stars. Do we have any five stars? Nope, but we should soon. <laughs> All right, that took a long time. Let's get into some PvP action. Oh, the new uh, Shield Simulator is open for the season. Let's take a quick look overall at the rewards in the um, main season event. You're going to get uh, Gambit along the way to, to um, 10,000 if you can get to the, to the full progression. And in the simulator itself, what are you going to get for the covers? Let's take a look. Usually two stars on the way up to three star Luke Cage. And the final cover offered is Dazzler Black. That's going to fit Rick's needs just perfectly. Hope that works out for you guys. The covers offered at the end of Simulator are almost always the first color ability of a character, which is also usually the harder ones to get of that character. So that's going to work out perfectly, um, at least for me. Awesome. All right, combined arms. We've got time for a few fights here. Let's go. I wanted to uh, take this guy on. He's got a pretty good team here, uh, featuring uh, Chavez and Hood and Black Widow. And so that is an AP-focused team. So we have to play a team that really um, tries to get ahead of them on AP. So here's what I thought I would do. Um, let's see if we can do this. It's going to be a super challenge. 
but I think we're going to try to bring in Wiccan here against America, kind of like the uh, matchup is going to be in the Crash of the Titans. And so that's not going to be easy, so I'm going to bring along Daredevil for a stun, I think. Or maybe I should bring... Hmm... Maybe I should bring Doctor Strange. The only abilities they would fire off are Hood or... Yeah, let's bring Doctor Strange. I think that might be easier because then we could also use his blue to um, reduce some of their AP. So that's green, yellow, blue, purple. Probably won't get much use out of purple. And then black and green are the colors that we don't have represented yet. So let's go down here and then just pick a two-star that could potentially have black and green. That'll be Human Torch. Let's, uh, this is going to be a tough fight because America's boosted is very dangerous. And uh, let's add some AP in uh, overall. And then let's add more to the green as well because it's going to be harder to get to the 12 green for Wiccan's damaging ability. Oh, why did I say green and black with Torch? We really need black and... Hmm... Blue, purple, we just need red. Yeah, red and black. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go. Alright, so we're starting with uh, much more AP than they have, and that is a very good thing. And an extra move in blue. Nice. Oh man, and another one. Viewer luck is rolling hot. That's exactly what we needed to get off at, uh, to start in this match with. We already got Black Widow knocked out. So now let's try to make a real rush toward colors that get Wiccan in his, um, or toward his uh, Demiurge state so he can transform. He's got to have uh, 6 AP in each color to transform to the Demiurge. And then uh, let's actually start hitting Hood. Maybe we can take him out. Sooner. I'm trying to do matches that are basically two move combos where one match gets you, you know, two different colors out of it and uh, as, as often as possible. We have our blue ready to play. The hood is very dangerous though because if there's over, if there's nine or more or over nine AP in a color on the board, he will just steal it from you repeatedly throughout the entire match. So you, I I think we really need to make a quick rush getting good knocked out here. See how our AP is jumping down if there's too much of it on the board. So let's go red, yellow. Yeah, he's really dropping our AP down. We uh, need him to fire off power switch so uh, Doctor Strange can, can knock him lower. But I think this is going to do it if we get a red match that's going to qualify our Demiurge. Just about got Hood taken care of. Sorry for my little indicator. There's the Demiurge. We got it. Now, every move, every match we make with Wiccan will now be a line break instead of just a normal match three. So let's take Hood out with a simple match and then watch the yellow. Line break and the AP from the entire line break. So we're in pretty good shape here to, to make a quick run of America since we can uh, try to stay ahead of her, all of her colors now, I think. She's got a lot of blue going, but we've got a ton of blue as well. And uh, we need to be careful so that she doesn't get a lot of match force to trigger her... it to the multiverse. See, um, there's a match four in black, but we're also going to get blue with it, so we're going to get two line breaks at once. That's a huge amount of AP in one shot. So um, Wiccan is being um, hurt a little bit because he's forcing himself out in front. That's what the Demiurge does. But we have our abilities ready to play. And um, let's... Um, yeah, let's, I think it's time to do it now. Let's play his Magical Barrier, which is Countdown Tiles, that will give him health back if they're destroyed. Now, let's play uh, Crimson Bands on maybe... 
Let's put it in a safe area at the bottom corner. It'll stun her for three turns, do a lot of damage, but also remove AP in the color we played on her. She's got a ton of red, so that'll remove a bunch of red. Might as well hit her with everything we got now since she's stunned. Alright, and see that this uh, magical barrier match is there. Let's make that match to get a uh, boost of health because we matched it away. Or if it gets destroyed. Uh, let's see, where's another one at? We can get this one too. True health. And now let's go ahead and play Chain Lightning. And we'll destroy our other countdown tile here. Very cool animation, and it is over. Uh, I was hoping to keep her with enough health to uh, have it destroy a couple columns, but uh, you get the idea. I'm really surprised we got that win as easily as we did, but we had very favorable boards. And um, I've got 73 wins already, amazingly. I never, ever go for 75 wins, um, but we're in kind of a... Uh, 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 battle chat challenge on who could win the most fights without using four star rocket and Groot, uh, Carol, or Medusa, and it was pretty fun and pretty tough, so it took a lot of work. <laughs> All right, so now I think let's see, I don't think I want to play against this team, I want to try a Fantastic Four team that I've been wondering about. Um, this should be a really good team to play against, let's do it. So, uh, we'll play, I was thinking of a team here with uh, Mr. Fantastic. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but if you play him right, I think you can get the damage that you want. And uh, let's go all the way down here to the two stars, because I need to make sure I grab the right character. 212, or, yeah. So what's funny is Bagman is technically qualified as a uh, uh, Fantastic Four character. And let's go back up here to Three Star Human Torch. I never get a chance to play uh, Mr. Fantastic and Torch together, but they have really, really good synergy. I think we'll uh, save the, that AP and then just um, go in with a... Let's see, what should we do here? Probably wouldn't hurt to boost blue, just to be on the safe side, since we're not bringing a whole lot of normal firepower into this match. But the synergy between Mr. Fantastic and another Fantastic Four member on the team is really good. So, what we want to do is rush... Of, well, we want to rush all of our colors, and it's hard to make a priority, but blue is definitely a priority. Because Mr. Fantastic's Blue is one of my favorite abilities in the game for a tile swap. Plus it creates protect tiles and it um, creates, uh, it fortifies them, but it also uh, stuns the target for three turns. Super good ability. And it only costs seven. But as far as the synergy I was talking about, um, when you have another Fantastic Four member on the team, if you have any special tiles on the board, and if they're matched by the enemy, you get a health boost like normal, but then you also get the synergy boost of, let's see, what is going to happen here? Watch this shot. You get three green AP when you have another Fantastic Four member on the team. So if we have a lot of specials out, like I intend to try to go for here, uh, we might be getting a whole lot of green for Torch, and um, which is a huge damaging ability. As for a three-star abilities go, it's it's a big damaging shot every turn if you can keep his repeater safe. All right, so I'm looking for a, a spot where we can do a tile swap that gets us a extra move or something. Oh, I thought we just about had it there. I think we're getting close to that. Let's just get black. The enemy team, I have to be careful with Wasp because I don't want her to get a lot of blue or black as well. And um, let's see. The red is not very dangerous against us. There we go. 
There we go. Extra move time. All right. So let's do this. Let's play flexibility. And we'll put a uh, red tile right there that we can match into an extra move. And so yellow's going to move out for a red. Where's a red that a yellow would do well in its place? Probably, probably here. It'll be kind of hidden. It's a protect tile that I'd like to keep on the board for a little bit. Let's do that. You want to stun Doctor Strange, of course, so he can't uh, hit you back with his flames of the fall teens. And then we'll do a... Um, Extra move match this way. Cool. So I want to play Human Torch's black ability before I play um, Mr. Fantastic's own black because I want to get a bunch of attack tiles on the board. Red drops yellow. That's the sonic boom, so I think I should match that away. Boy, a little bit of team All right, and what's interesting is we have enough yellow to play from Bagman, so if we get into trouble, we can increase the timer on uh, countdowns, if, whether they're uh, good uh, enemy or friendly countdowns, actually. So now let's stun Doctor Strange again. We can do this again. Is it time? I want to get an extra move. Maybe yellow's not too bad. Yeah, here we go. Let's do it. Play flexibility again. We'll warp a yellow there. Let's just take that one. It'll be pretty safe down below. Extra move in yellow drops pretty cool. Right down with those black. Uh, let's see. All right, that wasn't too bad. Let's hit. About a 6,000 shot. Perfect. And um, it's time. Let's play Inferno. Or should we play anything else first? Probably time to play Flame Jet. I'm a huge fan of Flame Jet. I didn't want it to go there. I was hoping it would be down more at the bottom. Um, and so that's actually right where an Inferno attack tile is going to go. Hmm, let me think here for a second. Let's just... Yeah, we only need to lose one. Let's play our Inferno, which is a whole bunch of attack dots. And now, when those are matched, we're going to earn a whole bunch more green AP, and the enemy team doesn't have green ability users, so they shouldn't be wanting to match our green away. that flexibility. Bonus health, big time, and green AP to boot. This is going to do tons of damage. 4,000 damage a turn, if we're lucky to keep it that way. I want to do this blue match to the left, but I'm definitely afraid it'll drop a green right in to match away my, my uh, repeater. So let's just do something else. Some damage we're getting now. More green, more green. She's dead. Okay. So let's work on Wasp. We need we need to um, keep the green damage trucking along. Oh, look at that! How oh, amazing. Fireball, 6,000. And now we have enough black to play Imagine Not. It's a countdown tile where you get additional damage if you match red, yellow, or green matches while that countdown's on the board. Well, with Torch on the team, we're wanting to do that quite a bit. So watch this yellow match. 519, but it uh, boosts it. Damage is presented onto the enemy. Uh, we have so much green now. Let's play another repeater. Is 
Zar, thank you for the nice comment. I definitely appreciate that. Um, I am uh, die-heartedly exuberant for this game for some reason, and so I try to present that in my uh, videos. Oh, it's fun. We're doing pretty well on Wasp. I think most of that has been due to the fact that we've kept her away from blue and black all this time. And uh, she's about to play her uh, blue, or get her um, blue passive countdown tile out. And it, that's actually going to be good timing because we have a chance to play Snarky Remark from Bagman. It increases the counter on on uh, countdown timers, so that'll increase our Imaginot and hers. And it's super good to increase hers because she steals AP every time that counts down. So we'll take that. And uh, I think we're just about ready to finish this anyway. Let's play Switcheroo, which is another tile swap ability. And we can swap a blue right into that spot. Where's a uh, good blue to swap out? We don't want to swap hers. We could. Uh, does it change it into a web tile first? Ooh, hey, wait, here's, here's an idea. Let's, um... I think... I think it changes it into a web tile before anything else happens. Yeah, it removed the countdown basically. And now we'll get the extra move ourselves. And we're going to finish her off with a uh, couple of swaps. So we're stunned in our. Don't really want to fight our vulture team in case that gets out of hand. Professor X. That should be a nice, easy team to run through with uh, pretty much the meta team in, in this. I haven't even played 4-star Rocket and Groot yet. Let's see how fast we can win while using Rocket and Groot and then 3-star Gamora. Uh, as long as you have another Guardian on the team... It boosts uh, Rocket and Groot's strike tiles to crazy levels. And so we've got red, black, green, blue, yellow. We would just need a purple playing two-star. Let's go. Wait till you see how fast this team can win. I'm even going to try to remember to take my boosts off. And we will be done after this fight. I would love to get so many more battles in, but um, this is match number 75. With this win, we'll also earn our command points for the night. Professor X has uh, really low health. Watch this. There's a match four in green down here, but you know what? You're going to get so much more damage out of it if you do it as a match three, because the black will match on top of that, and then there's a blue match that will match on top of that. So it's basically um, a three-match combo as opposed to a single... Professor X will be going down easily. Let's work on the stupid next. Look at those drops. You see how much damage is coming from these strike tiles? we got to try to protect the remaining strike tiles. Uh, let's go blue and purple. She's down. And let's see. It won't be long to finish off. I know there's some match four stuff you can do, but let's do yellow and red. One more match will finish this. And it's over. Didn't even fire any abilities. That's how overpowered that team is quite good. 
And um, I'd love to get into more fights with, with Carol Danvers, um, Medusa, so many great four stars play with uh, some good mechanics and other things with the three stars. That's a lot of fun. We did qualify for the command points by getting our 75th win. And we will end the video there for the night. Thank you very much for those command points. We're up to almost 3,600 overall total. Guys, I hope you have a lot of fun in combined arms. I probably won't be another do another video until it's over, but let me know how it goes for you. If you guys need more MPQ on Twitch, guys are on there right now. Make sure and hit up Killpower559, Enios04, and uh, Adam and Kevin 8-Bit Forever are on all the time. Hit them up, like, and follow. Guys, I need three more followers on Twitch. Please tell your friends to jump in and get that done. I'll qualify for another level in the, in the uh, Twitch broadcasting. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, thank you very much. Please like and follow there. And if you need more, hit up Mr. MPQ and Artem on YouTube. Guys, thanks so much. Have a great night. We'll see you.